Hello, my friends. I'm Clara Parks from the Wool Channel. Welcome back to another Wool Short. Today's topic, can wool save peatlands? Peatlands are carbon-rich wetlands that cover just 3% of the world's surface, but hold nearly 30% of the world's carbon. They are carbon gold mines. Healthy peatlands also have the benefit of holding huge amounts of water, reducing flood risk, promoting biodiversity, and they even have a net cooling effect on the environment. Unfortunately, a quarter of the world's peatland has been destroyed. And this is not something that you can easily grow back. You would need 100 years just to build four inches. So we need to protect what we have and prevent the loss from growing. While Russia, Canada, the United States, and Indonesia have the most peatland in the world, the UK is in the top 10. Peatlands in the UK alone contain some three billion tons of carbon. That's as much as the forests of the UK, France, and Germany combined. In the UK, nearly 80% of the peatlands have been damaged or degraded. And if peatland holds all this carbon, what happens when you disrupt it? All that carbon is released back into the environment the last place we want that carbon to go. If you watch any of the British gardening shows, such as Gardener's World, you will hear a lot of talk like this. So what I'm doing is putting about 10, 15 centimeters of peat-free compost. This is just a multi-purpose peat-free compost. Unfortunately, this is almost certainly potted into peat. But industrial peat extraction for horticultural use in the UK occupies less than 1% of UK peatland. 0.15% give or take. There's a lot more peatland that needs saving, and this is where sheep and their wool have entered the equation. In Wales, at the Bene Brynaeog Bene Brynaeog National Park has been working to restore its peatlands. The big issue there is water runoff causing erosion. So they had started by using imported coconut husk to make these portable dams that would slow the runoff and help the water and peatlands stay put. But coconuts aren't native to Wales, are they? If only Wales had something similarly bulky with good water retention, biodegradability, regrown every year, that wouldn't cost a ton because it doesn't have a very high commercial value otherwise. Hmm, I wonder what could that be? What could whales do? <coughs> yes, sheep and their wool. With a grant from the Welsh government, there's a new scheme experimenting with using wool to control erosion. They're buying raw fleece from local farmers whose sheep are ideally suited to the region, but whose wool does not have super high commercial value right now, which is a tragedy, by the way. So they roll up these raw fleeces and they're using them as blankets to hold water in place so that it has time to be absorbed back into the peatland instead of running down the mountains and taking the peatland with it. This project has been five years in the making and believe me, they are watching the outcome very closely. If it is a success, there's a high likelihood that they will roll it out elsewhere throughout Wales. And that, my friends, is how wool may help save peatlands, not just in Wales, but wherever there are peatlands in peril and sheep who need a haircut. This has been another Wool Short. I am Clara Parks from the Wool Channel. Thank you for watching. Ah!